Hey guys, good morning. I just woke up. Had a really good sleep last night thanks to the workout and the deadlifts. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today. But as you can see, my eyes are still swollen. Yep, thanks to all the crying I did yesterday. So what happened was I I got a bit stressed out with the lockdown and stuff. So yesterday was just one of those days where I felt really down. So we went to the gym and I, I really didn't want to, but I did it anyway. So I just went through my workout really serious and really pissed. I did um, side presses. I did one arm presses push-ups what was the next one I'm I'm so sleepy I can't think of the next one I'm pretty sure there was one more thing but the last thing I did was bend over rows so yeah I have a really sore back and body today after I did those bend over rows I basically went to jet and cried I cried my eyes out I was like I want to go riding when will everything be normal I want to see a horse um, after that sobbing session or kind of during that sobbing session I was like I feel like maxing out and he was like Mm. and I was like I think I got it and he said as long as you're not emotional and as long as you're calm then go for it so I was like okay with my crying face I headed over to the bar there was already 50 kilos so I picked it up started warming up and eventually worked my way up to a PR 90 I still can't believe I did it 90 kilos that's that's almost double body weight that's pretty crazy I've never really been strong in my life I mean I've been strong compared to the average female I guess but not really you know, like power lifter, strong or anything. I've done parkour, I've been a runner, and I'm an equestrian, but you know, nothing big with weights up till up till now. Um so yeah, this is pretty big for me. I'm super happy. It was definitely worth all the soreness that I feel today. Though I feel like most of the soreness that I feel comes from the workout rather than the PR itself because I did do a full ass workout before that. So yeah, I'm just gonna be taking you guys through my day and show you guys how I'll be attempting to recover from all this soreness. Hope you guys enjoy it. So I just wanted to show you guys how I look today. I'm looking really great. I think this is the leanest I've ever been. So this is for all you girls who are afraid of lifting weights because you've been told that you'll look like a man. You'll get bulky blah 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 whatever I don't look like a man I look hot as fuck so 
right now I'm just waiting for Jet to come out so that we can go walk the dogs together. The dogs are waiting. Yeah, just gonna play with them for a bit, I guess. Bopping, sit, sit down. So, this is a reminder to always pick up your dog poop. There's a really annoying dog barking. It's a really tiny dog barking at Latte. So what Jet is doing is he's changing directions to keep the dog on her feet so that she will hopefully listen to him and follow him rather than, you know, try to go her own way. He's really trying to keep her behind, so the dog is behind at all times and not at, in the front. He's doing quite well. So this is what you want when you walk a dog, for them to follow you. And make sure you're holding your reins, I mean leash, correctly as well. So we're pretty much done with our walk. As you can see, Coco, where's Coco? It's a bit tired already. And the reason I'm squinting is because the sun, the sun, yeah, the sun is so bright. I am at I'm trying to find a good angle to show you, but I am at OO White Coffee. Uh, I'm at the Waterfall Branch because uh, my family likes the Hokkien Mee here, so that's what I'm here to get for them. And I initially wanted to get myself nasi lemak, but there's no nasi lemak today, sad. So I am getting chicken rice. If you come here, you'll see that they have this uh, table with egg tarts outside. These two lovely ladies are selling the egg tarts. Uh, they're pretty good, so I think you guys should give them a try. They have Portuguese tarts and also egg tarts. Yep, they are in abundance, so come and get them while they last. Polo buns. Uh, it's this Chinese bun basically and they put like a shitload of butter in there which makes it really nice so this is really good too I got the coffee already 
really fast service and oh here the food comes now thank you so much Okay, sure. Got close tight, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, thank okay, you so thank much. You. See you. Alright. Let me just get settled. Okay, like I said, really good service and thank God I could put my phone there. Okay. So these are lamb steaks all chopped up. Uh, they're kind of raw, but he likes it, I think. Do you like it, baby? Yeah, I love it. Thanks, baby. <laughs> so this is how one would feed their carnivorous man. It's good. Hey guys, so that's pretty much it for the active part of my day. And by that, I mean it's going to be a very lazy day today. I'm about to take a nap after this and I'm not training today so the rest of my day is going to be pretty boring if I would want to record all of that so I won't put you guys through that boredom I'll be back with more videos next round after I've recovered, slept and just refreshed myself so yeah thanks for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it